Well, here we are at Camp Oaks out in the Lake Williams area where today they're having the Riverside Telescope Makers Conference. About 2,000 amateur uh, astronomers are here. Let's go in. Well, here we are in the uh, vendors area. They have a lot of vendors selling telescopes, books, moon rocks, accessories, so much of everything. So we're going to go and visit a few of them. Now this is really neat. Now this is, uh, is this like a Lazy Boys uh, Yes, indeed. This you is, know, you're, you can lean back. This is the couch potato toaster. I see. This is really cool. So you can just kind of uh, point it at something. Uh-huh. Get it in focus. Fold your arm. Put a smile on your face. And watch the shooting and, stars. And go to sleep. <laughs> That is really cool. This is your design? You, yeah, yeah. you designed it. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, I build them in my living room. You do, huh? Yeah. Where are you from? Houston. Houston, Texas, huh? Yeah. Wow. These are great. Do you sell a lot of them? Uh, I, I build, I try and sell enough of them to buy gasoline to the next store. Oh, very good. To I the sold next. three of them this morning. This trip is paid for. Oh, very good. What do they sell for? 300 bucks. With only 300? Yeah. Wow, that's what a buy. Very good. Well, this is something neat and new and portable. Come on, Owen, get in the picture. The, yeah, they give me a tour. Now we showed you know a little bit on uh, on Channel Six, but man, these this is really neat. this is a. Uh, a Turing planetarium. Right, and inside is the planetarium projector, and outside we have all these things for the kids to look at the telescopes, the rocket over here, uh -huh. and the robot that we've seen in some of the commercials. Yeah, right. Here's the actual robot that you see uh, Big Bear 2A radio commercials. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. How's this being received? Very nice. The people that have seen the show have loved it. Really? Just loved it. Four nights. Anything inside now or uh, later? It's so dark inside. That oh, we can't see. Yeah, uh, well, we'll catch it one of these days. Yeah. This is a really, really neat. Even have meteorites. Yeah, well, I mean, if I call up in this. And Einstein himself. Well, I can, uh, this is a really low lie. This shows up really good. Now, what is this unit? This is the planetarium projector. It's a Goto made in Japan and projects over uh, 1,400 stars. Oh, wow. All over the ceiling all and over everything. All the ceiling, all around you. Isn't that amazing? There was only about 50 of them made, and it was made in the late 50s, early 60s. Uh-huh. This is really neat. And another robot up there. He, and he introduces the show. I see, yes. And uh, you have a meteorite. I want to take a look at that. Okay, it's in the corner. Look at this. This is a meteorite. This is 150 pounds? Yes. That little thing? Uh-huh. Wow. It was found in Argentina by a Spanish explorer uh -huh. in 1476. Landed about 4,000 to 5,000 years ago. Wow. It's just what you see in these fantasy films. That is really something. Now, how did you get it? A friend of mine in Tucson, Arizona deals in meteorites. I see. So he's able to pick it up. Mm -hmm. And you got it from your friend. That's cool. So anyway, are you, you're going to tour what to uh, schools and Count, things? County fairs. Uh huh. And uh, carnivals, things like that. That's great. Hitting the road. You bet. That's cool. Very, very good. Well, we'll move on. Man, look at this. Stargazers in an observer. I heard of that place. Yeah, that's here in Big Bear Lake. That's here in Big Bear Lake. Hi, Carl. We're here for Stargazers in an observatory. I know it. The Bear Valley Astronomy Society. And uh, we're also here with Owen, who I think we just... Oh, yeah, just did his. Yeah, did now, all these books are available 
at uh, the Stargazers gift store too. That's correct. Yeah. 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 These are all from the gift store. Yeah. Doreen really has all it. sorts of things. We got this for the kids. Oh, there was somebody who really did a good job with this a minute ago. It's just a little magnet. Oh yeah. yeah tell the kids, you know, you're done. Just put it right there. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Look at the Night Sky Network. Right. We're a member member club. club. National Aeronautics and Space I'm Administration. Guess about an hour and 90 minutes, but I don't know exactly. Pretty cool. Thank you. Yeah, we're a member of the NASA JPL Night Sky Network. Uh huh. And this is an organization of volunteers, clubs that uh, permits, uh, presents astronomy to kids. Sure. We have a, a several packages that they send us. Uh, if you do so many during the year, you get one of those banners down there, which you might Uh-huh, uh, yeah, I just filmed. Are you still filming or not? Yeah, that's great. Okay, well, so. let's tell everybody, too, that the uh, Big Bear Valley Astronomy Club meets every month at the Stargazers That's Inn. That's correct. It's the second Tuesday of the month at the Stargazers Inn. During the summer, it's 8 o'clock. During the winter, it's 7 o'clock. Uh -huh. We'll have a speaker every month. Next uh, month will be uh, Frank, this month, coming up June, will be Frank Murray talking about uh, uh, the classification and uh, evolution of stars. Right. How they're named. How they're named. You betcha. Last month, we had... Uh, a fellow from the uh, Big Bear Solar Observatory talking right. about the upgrade they're doing. Right, they're doing a major upgrade, and it's going to be one of the largest sun telescopes in their system. It will be the one with the highest resolution. Right. There are six solar telescopes around the world. Right. And uh, Big Bear is going to be the premier one when they finish. I know. Isn't that going to be great? Coming up. We've also had speakers from JPL presentations on the Mars rovers. You bring a model of the rover to, to the meeting. Yeah, that's Again, cool. Second Tuesday of the month, 8 o'clock. And then afterwards, uh, you can either bring your own equipment or use ours to observe the Big Bear night sky from our deck. And then we'll take you out to the 11-inch uh, reflecting telescope. It's in a separate dome on the one-acre property. And we'll look at whether it's interesting in the night sky, like right now. Right, and that's you can cool. Also see <coughs> the comet that will be impacted by a probe launched last uh, December. Oh, yes. On July 4th. They picked that time to celebrate the anniversary of the United States. Uh huh. And uh, the, that will happen on July 4th. You, we actually could see that, in, that comet in the night sky last night here at the observing field sure. at Camp Oaks. That's great. This is a big event every yes, year. It is. Okay, Carl, nice here. seeing you. Good seeing you, Ron. Well, this booth is a meteorite, meteorological research company of San Jose. Hi, you're from San Jose. Yeah. How about that? Every year, been coming up here for almost 30 years. How about that? It gets bigger every year, doesn't it? Yes, it sure does. That was $4,400. <laughs> Most expensive wow. one here. Really? Yeah. 4,400. Yeah. Wow. It's a calcite meteorite. Sure. <laughs> this you is... Ever been to Camp, have you ever been to Camp Meteor Crater in Arizona? That one's from Meteor Crater. Oh, really? How much does that one weigh? Uh, somebody just asked me a few minutes ago. It's four and a half pounds. Four and a half, yeah. Yeah, you want to hold it? Oh, oh that's okay. Very It's hot. just, yeah, ooh, yeah. They get hotter and hotter and hotter until the afternoon, and then you just can't pick any of them up. Right. So where do you find all these? Everywhere? We buy them. You do? Do people collect them? And oh, yeah. I wish I could say we find them ourselves, but that's not true. No, that's fine. Well, nice meeting you, and thanks for coming from San Jose. How y'all doing? Good. These are miniatures. Aren't these neat? These are used for home and office decor items? Or? Yes, that's exactly right. 
Really? So if you have a if you have a Dobsonian telescope that you use every day, uh huh. You can buy one of these and take it to work and put it on your desk and tell everybody what you do at night. Oh, that's cool. That's really good. Never saw them so small. Very good. Well, we're in the area now where they have the larger telescopes. This is Lumicon. And they have everything from uh, small telescopes up to the larger telescopes. These are really something. Telescopes, many of them are really not that expensive. Two, three hundred, four hundred dollars. But look at this one here. This is really one. Wow, that's a beaut, huh? That's a biggie. This is Celestron booth. Has a battery, so it all works by battery. And of course, inside they have all kinds of telescopes. This is one of the largest manufacturer of telescopes in the country. Well, look at these. Well, this is this something, isn't it? And right now, for the show, if we can get your orders in for next week, he's throwing in a pair of panoptic eyepieces. That's great. It's about $500 in extra eyepieces. There. And the cover on this side is off. Actually, the cover goes on. Yeah, and there's, there's, a, there's a full cover we have. It sits in, put type. Pulled out the sixes, and the sixes became so popular. He says, well, let's try eights. Eights weren't enough. He did the tens also, and he said, I'll stick with the tens, and then go to the sixteens. And uh, 16s will outperform a 30, mm -hmm. just like uh, his NGT. <clears throat> you set it up just like this. You got a little bar. Yeah, this is the area of all the telescope manufacturers. These are permanent. Uh, they have two observatories here at Camp Oaks. And um, they, they really, uh, the kids that come here to camp really enjoy it. They have astronomy programs. They bring group after group over here and uh, take them in the observatory. and. I showed them the night nice skies. But boy, this is a lot. This is a huge telescope. It's under wraps right now. But boy, they have all kinds of telescopes here. Every telescope manufacturer in the country is exhibiting here. Let's go with this one. This is a big one. This is the Mead manufacturing. This is uh, probably one of the nation's largest manufacturers of telescopes they just have all kinds all sizes aren't these great well if you're in astronomy you can sure go wild here this is really something they got accessories inside of the tent. Here's one. Actually, they're uh, they're looking at the sun, but that has special filters on it. You just don't look at the sun without special filters on your scopes. Are these great? Oh. Have you seen the Andromeda strain? This is something, these are uh, smoke signals from beyond, huh? Yeah, the Andromeda transmission. I don't know if you remember the uh, movie, The Andromeda Strain. Yeah, I sure this do. Yours truly snaps provolone. Oh, yeah. He's giving yours truly a gift. Oh, hey, thank you. Big Bear Lake, Channel 6. This is right, you, you betcha. Go. I gotta give you all kinds of stuff, right? Oh, man. How about some crowd noise? You can play crowd noise while you're, you know, fishing on the lake. Oh, sure, that's what I need. You know, when you're 
you know, yeah. if it's comedy in the mirror and you know it's not that funny, it'll still be funny to yeah. other people. Hey, great. Where's uh, your company from? Uh, San Diego. San Diego. We got Where? a kids label too called Space Frog Media. Uh huh. So trying to educate the kids from a, sort of a space perspective. Yeah. You so, have uh, you can sell these on the uh, on the internet. On the internet is being rebuilt as we speak. I'm just okay. But give us the uh, or the address. Here's the card. Crypticon.com. Okay. Uh, where's the big sticker for? Oh, uh, that's good. Deal with cloning and fembot reproduction. Sure. But not really. You understand. It's all a marketing.